Hey guys, this is Amin Shaki with InfoTrust, Head of Growth. Wanted to take a couple minutes just to talk a little bit about the Google Marketing Platform value that we've been able to share with lots of our clients, global enterprises, and specifically talking about a topic that is tremendously valuable with the entire marketing platform, and that is audience sharing, audience building, driving media. So we all know the Google Marketing Platform consists of several products, specifically Analytics 360, and DV360 display video is what we'll talk about today and the audience capabilities. Now, it goes without saying that Google has a lot of rich data sets to allow targeting and really segmentation of what type of ads you show to different users, depending where they're on the consumer journey. The beauty with using Analytics 360, DV360, and the entire marketing platform is all the seamless integrations and data flow between these platforms. So then you can connect your Analytics 360 first party data, which essentially means the interactions with your digital platforms, with your websites, with your apps that you might be tracking. Things like interactions and, and button clicks or events on your website. Um, things tracked in GA like session duration and bounce rate and all these signals that are specifically about your known users or users coming to your platforms. All tracked in Analytics 360. You can even bring in CRM data that is known about your users by integrating your CRM platform with Analytics 360, something we do with our clients all the time, whether it's the Salesforce automatic integration with Analytics 360 or with any other platforms using the APIs, the measurement protocol, bringing in that rich customer data that you have living in other systems into your Analytics 360 account gives you that extra first party data set to apply to uh, your targeting as well. And even beyond uh, just CRM and, and with Analytics 360, the data you collect off your website, leveraging other systems uh, through cloud with Google and, and applying BigQuery and all your first party data sets or the Google Ads Data Hub, uh, which is a little bit new but really exciting, gives you other signals, other ways to group and target your customers. Applying all this with the display and video 360 third party signals like affinity, interest, demographics, and access to all this publisher uh, inventory and, and data that you can also combine together by, by leveraging Analytics 360 and DV360, the entire marketing platform together, you can really unlock really robust uh, targeting. Now, what I want to talk about is a little bit more specific, the flows, the options, the ways the data can work together because the, the promise of it all makes sense, but when talking to clients, they're always like, okay, what does it mean for our business? What are the tools that we have and how do we get it rolled out? So we wanted to put together a little bit of content around that. So this is one slide that we've shared with a few different clients, primarily multi-brand, large enterprises, multinationals, what have you, just so that they can understand, okay, if we had these different tool sets, do they all connect directly or is there uh, a different path for the data to, to flow through about our audiences and in the segmentation that we can do. So with Google Analytics 360 on one side, Campaign Manager on the other side from the measurement, first party data collection off your websites or apps. In the middle you have Search Ads 360, Google Ads, and Display and Video 360, which is the actual media outlets uh, where you can uh, deliver your ads and, and drive that. So this is the flow of data between all these platforms. But the question always comes back, okay, what do we do to get started? Now we work with really complex organizations, again, many digital assets, many properties, platforms, websites, countries to manage brands. Um, so the way we help with developing an audience strategy, leveraging this tech stack that's really robust, really powerful from Google, um, is these steps here. We first audit all audiences used today or the goals and strategy of the business with their media, what type of products they're selling, what type of customers they have, how they acquire them. Uh, build recommendations on what the ideal audience framework should be, list of globally standardized audiences versus capabilities needed at market or brand level. Um, create a single set of recommended uh, globally governed and standardized audiences and then automate the rollout using the Google APIs, the management APIs that our team is very well versed in uh, leveraging uh, and using with our engineering team. So I wanted to show an example output, a very simplified, uh, robust list for one of our clients that has over 100 national uh, markets that they support with over 100 plus brands, um, how we actually went about first just auditing because they had all these markets running their individual assets 
with lists of audiences and targeting uh, practices. So using the API, we're able to automatically, quickly gather a set of everything that they're using and analyze what's uniform, what's not, provide that centralized list of standardized audiences. And using that same API that downloaded and helped us do the audit, actually update and automate the deployment of a really standardized structured audience and robust list. Again, using that first party data tracked in Analytics 360 or integrated tools like CRM, and then passing it over to Google Ads, uh, DV360. Really, really rich data set, shows the value, the, the strength of the Google um, ecosystem and, and stack of products together because it allows you to take that targeting one step further. From there, our clients have used these audiences for retargeting, remarketing, built similar audiences to extend their reach for a similar uh, users or customers that they want to acquire compared to those that they already have coming to their sites and engaging, and really going more granular than just driving new users or those that convert at the end, but those that have those micro conversions and interactions uh, within the user journey or the funnel on the website. So hopefully that was helpful a few minutes of how we approach audience strategy, building automation at scale for really large and complex organizations and really leverage the Google marketing platform to its fullest uh, to provide success and drive that media uh, for our clients. Thanks very much for your time.